Hi, I'm Salma Jafri, and you're watching Content Marketing Tips. Welcome to the show. So today I have a great question about branding that comes in from Saad. And Saad writes to me and he says, Hi Salma, I have been meaning to develop a personal and a company brand, but have failed at it. So I am thinking to revamp my personal brand and just go forward with that and offer my service offerings alongside it. Since you were in a similar boat with SalmaJafri.com and WordPL, I want to know what made you switch to having just a personal brand. Is it good to have a personal and a company brand separate? What are the pros and cons? And what would be your honest advice to me to keep both or focus on one? Now that's a really great question, Saad. And I know that a lot of entrepreneurs, including myself, struggle with this question when we decide to build an online brand. So on the one hand, you're thinking that a personal brand is going to give you expert status and get your name recognized. And on the other hand, you're thinking that having a corporate brand is going to give you more of a professional outlook and is going to lend you credibility and help you build more trust with your audience. So which is it? I'm afraid there isn't any easy answer and there are no right or wrong answers to this question. There are a number of factors that are going to go into deciding whether you're going to be building a personal brand or a corporate brand or both. And the thing is that the problem is not just limited to websites, but it uh, also transcends that to everything that you do online. So any online media properties, such as social media accounts you're thinking of forming, uh, are going to be affected by this decision. So whether you want to set up a, a Twitter account or a Facebook page, you're going to be thinking whether you want to do that with your personal account or with a corporate account. So, so it's a very real problem that entrepreneurs who are trying to build a personal brand have. So in my experience of having built both a corporate and a personal brand, let me tell you what rule number one is. Rule number one is that brands are constantly evolving entities. So you have to think of your brand as a living, breathing thing. It is constantly going to be changing. You are constantly going to be adding to it subtracting from it perhaps, you are constantly going to be testing and tweaking it because your brand is going to develop as your business grows and develops further. So keep that in mind. Second, you need to figure out just what do you want people to know you as? The CEO of brand XYZ or by your name? And that's a very personal decision that you're going to have to work out for yourself. And when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to be known as, and I thought about, uh, I want to be known as Salma Jafri, and I thought about continuity, that what if the work being done is not always under my name? What if my business expands and I'm not always there personally? So how is a personal brand supposed to handle continuity? And I looked to people who've already done it. So I went to see people who have built personal brands like Zig Ziglar or Tony Robbins or Marie Forleo. And I saw that they used a strategy which was very smart and they added suffix. They added something that would uh, make their brand name more than just their personal name. So for example, Marie Forleo International, Robbins Research, you know, so that's one way of extending your personal brand and actually making it become more than just you. So the third thing that you have to figure out is just what are you selling? What kind of products and services are you offering to your customers and whether that fits in with a personal brand better or with a corporate brand more. So when I started to decide this question for myself and I realized that I want to be selling digital products, so online courses and eBooks and softwares and downloadable stuff and the kind of services that I wanted to be offering involved corporate trainings and speaking. And so it made sense for me to set up a personal brand because that fit in better with the products and services that I wanted to offer. So that's the third thing you have to think about. And the fourth thing that you need to consider is yourself. You need to think about 
what online assets do you already have that you can leverage? Because the chances are that you have been online for a while and you have established accounts on different social media networks. So when I looked at my accounts and I realized that, hey, I have built up this interesting fan base. I have a lot of uh, followers on Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus and LinkedIn, and why not leverage that? So I've worked hard to create this brand up till this point, and it would just not be a smart strategy to let all of that go. So you have to think about where you are in your online journey and what assets do you already have that you can put to use while building your corporate or your personal brand. And finally, the last and fifth point is very personal to me because I just find it a lot of work to manage more than one brand. When I used to be managing corporate brands for clients, it used to drive me just a little bit cuckoo because you know switching from incognito mode, switching into different accounts, logging in, logging out, using software to do that, I just didn't enjoy that process. So you have to really decide for yourself whether you can keep up with the work of maintaining two brands or maybe even more than two brands. It's not for everybody and it requires very, very uh, you know, dedicated time management skills to be able to do that. So I realized that I was not cut out for it. And also I realized that I wanted to put all of my focus, all of my effort and all of my energy and enthusiasm into just developing one brand. And I found that that worked better for me. So that's the route that I decided to take. So now I've given you five points to consider and you need to decide which ones appeal to you and hopefully together they're going to help you make a decision about whether you need to build both or you want to focus just on your personal brand or your corporate brand. And Saad, I want to thank you for sending this question in. If you have anybody else who's watching, you have a question, you can also send it to me. Uh, you can go to my Facebook page, which the address is going to appear at the end, or you can um, just write to me, uh, salmajafri.com slash contact, and just send me your question through that form. I would love to hear from you and answer any question that you might have about being an entrepreneur and learning how to market yourself online. Thank you so much for watching. This has been so much fun to bring to you. And my aim is to bring you one video every single week straight to your inbox. And the way that you can get it in your inbox is by subscribing. So the subscribe link is below. And I hope to see you next week for more content marketing tips. Thank you.